here our discussion is on LCM. In this video, we are discussing what's LCM, how to find it and where we can use it. All these three things we are discussing in detail in this video. First of all, let's see what is the definition of LCM. The full form of LCM says the definition of LCM. LCM means it is the least common multiple. To understand this, we can take a simple example. Take the LCM of 6 and 8. First of all, we can take the set of multiples of 6. Here I have list out the multiples of 6. Then I am taking the multiples of 8 also. So the multiples of 6 are here 6, 12, 18, 24, etc. And the multiple of 8 are here 8, 16, 24, 32, etc. So as you know, the set of multiples of a number is an infinite collection. So here we have two infinite collection of multiples of 6 and 8. So as per the definition of LCM, it is a multiple and it's a common multiple. Next, let's list out the common multiple. So we are checking which are the common numbers among these multiples. So let's mark the common numbers using green color. So 24, 48, etc. numbers are common. So as I told, the number of multiples are infinite. So the number of common multiple is also infinite. Among this infinite set of common multiples, the least number we are considering. So among the common multiple, the least number will be a unique number. Obviously, the least number is 24. So the property of 24 is here. It is common multiple and least. So 24 is a multiple of 6 and 8 and it's uh, least common for 6 and 8 among their common multiple. So 24 is the LCM of 6 and 8. So using this method that means by list out the common multiple and finding the smallest common multiple, we can find out the LCM of two or more numbers. But this is not always possible. Especially for large numbers, this is not a possible way to find out their LCM. So there are different methods to find LCM. Let's see one method to find LCM. This is a one method for finding the LCM. In this method, find the prime factorization of each numbers and take the product of each prime factor in their maximum repeated times. This would be clear by showing an example. We are taking the same example of 6 and 8. Here the 6 and 8 are written as their product of its prime factors. That means here 6 is written as 2 times 3 and 8 is written as 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 and 3 are prime numbers. So this 6 and 8 are written as the product of their prime factors. Next, as per the definition or as per the explanation of this method, we are taking each prime factor in their maximum repeated times. Here the prime factors which we have used are 2 and 3. You can see the number 3 is maximum repeated only one times. And you can see in the prime factorization of 6, 2 and 3 is used but 2 is used only one time. But in the case of 8, we have used the number 2 3 times. So the maximum repetition of 2 is 3 times 
that is in the prime factorization of 8. So we are considering all these prime factors used in their maximum repeated times and taking their product. That means 1 times 3 and 3 times 2. 3 into 2 into 2 into 2. We will get LCM of 6 and 8. The same answer we will get that is 24. LCM of 6 and 8 is 24. Next, we are considering another method. This is second method to find LCM. We are dividing the numbers together with their prime factors. Here, we are dividing the number 6 and 8 with 2 because both of these numbers are even numbers. We can divide it with 2. We will get 3 and 4. Again, we are trying to divide with 2. 3 is unable to divide with 2 so that we put the 3 down and 4 divided by 2 will get a 2. So the numbers which we received, the prime numbers are 2 uh, and 3, 3 times 2 and 1, 3. So the LCM of 6 and 8 is the product of 3 2's and 1, 3. That means 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. You will get the LCM of 6 and 8. That is 24. Next, we can see one more example. The second example, we are considering a little more big number. That is LCM of 24 and 63. We have learned two different methods. First, we are considering the method we have discussed first. As per the first discussed method, 24 and 63, both the numbers we can return as the product of their prime factors. 24 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. And 63 can be written as 3 into 3 into 7. So, these are the prime factorization form of 24 and 63. Next, we are considering each prime factors in their maximum repeated times. So, here 2, considering 2, it is maximum repeated 3 times in 63 or in the prime factorization of 63, 2 is not used or 2 is not repeated. So, maximum repetition of 2 is 3 times. Next, we are considering 3. In the prime factorization of 24, only one 3 is there. So, we are considering maximum 3's, that is with the 63, 2 times 3. So, next one prime factor which is used is 7. 7 is used only one time. So, 7 is maximum repeated only one time. So, we are considering all these prime factors in their maximum repeated times and taking their product, we will get the LCM of 24 and 63. That is 504. Same problem, same example, we are doing using second method. We are repeatedly dividing 24 and 63 together with their prime factors. We will get as shown here. Then we are taking their product of the prime numbers we received. We will get the LCM of 24 and 63 is equal to 3 times 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 7. Same answer, you will get 504. Next, our discussion is why we learn LCM or what's the use of LCM. Here we can see an example. It's a bad problem. In this problem, it's discussing where LCM is used in our daily life. So, let's go through this problem. The traffic lights at three different road crossings change after every 48 seconds, 72 seconds and 108 seconds respectively. If they all change simultaneously at 8.20 am, what will they again change or when will they again change simultaneously? This is the question. So, let us think about this question. 
here a time is given that is 8.20 am. What happened at 8.20 am? All these three different traffic signals or traffic lights changed simultaneously. So, we can consider each traffic lights. Let's think about the first traffic light. That means the traffic light which changes at every 48 second. So, the traffic light which changes at every 48th second will change at first 48th second, then 96th second, then 144th second, then 192nd second, then 240th second. That means at the multiple of 48 seconds, the first traffic light will change. Okay, so 48 plus 48 or 48 into 2, 96. 48 into 3, 144. Then 48 into 4, 192. Like that. So multiples of 48, the traffic light will change. Then think about second traffic light. This I have given in green letters. So the second traffic light will change. First it will change at 72 seconds. Then one more 72 second. That means at 144th second, 144th second, it will change second times. Third time it will change at 216th second. Like that, the second traffic light will change at every 72 seconds. That means at the each multiple of 72 seconds, that second traffic light will change. Then third traffic light will change at every multiple of 108 seconds. First it will change at 108 second. Then another 108 second means total 2 times 108 seconds. 216 second. Like that every multiple of 108 seconds second traffic light will change. So that the time at which this traffic light will change is their multiple of their duration. So our question is at which time it will again change simultaneously if once it has done at 8.20 am at sharp 8.20 am once they have changed simultaneously then at which time they will change again simultaneously so this all light will change as we seen at their multiple of their duration multiple time common multiple of their duration they will change together so first time next change will happen at their least common multiple times so least common multiple of the duration 48 72 and 108 we have to consider okay i hope this is clear for you the traffic light will change simultaneously again at sharp after the lcm of 48 72 and 108 seconds so that we are considering the LCM of these numbers 48, 72 and 108. We are following the second method as we have discussed. We are doing the repeated division using their prime factors. Then we are considering all the prime factors and taking the product. We will get the LCM of these three numbers as 432. That means we can conclude that at next 430 second second the three traffic light will again change simultaneously so we want the exact time because in the question it is given us an exact time as 8 20 am to find the time in the clock we are converting this time into our clock time that means into minutes we are considering so 432 seconds we are converting to minutes we know 60 seconds are one minute to find minutes we are dividing the given number 432 divided by 60 we will 7.2 minutes we know seven minutes is what then we are considering what is mean by two minutes so converting minutes into seconds we are multiplying with the 60 because one minute is 60 seconds 0 0.2 minutes is equal to 0 0.2 into 60 is equal to 12 seconds so we will get 7 minutes and 12 
seconds that means 820 am plus 7.2 minutes means 820 am plus 7 minutes 12 seconds that means the time is 827 and 12 seconds am so you will get the answer at sharp 827 and 12 seconds am the traffic light will again simultaneously so this is the time at which the traffic light will again change simultaneously similar to this in various situations we can use lcm in our daily life i hope video is useful for you thank you